Leanne from Benjamin Moore, That's which right. means we're painting. We are. Okay. Yay. Let's look at this fabulous little set that I really, you won't notice if I just drop this in my car. <laughs> I might because I want it to go in my car. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Well, I might have to uh, employ you to do one of these. Sure. This is so cute. Absolutely. Well, actually, this piece um, was just an unfinished wood piece. It was meant to be an interior piece for right. a children's playroom, but we've used Benjamin Moore's exterior product on it, so now you can take it outside. Patio and furniture for the baby. Exactly. Well, that's the thing. You know, nice. so much emphasis has been put on the deck and the backyard as being an adult entertaining area, right. an extension of the home, just as we saw in the tape, and bringing sort of the indoors out just as much as the outdoors come in as Stacy showed with the lighting. Absolutely. So we can't forget though about a little corner and a fun spot for the kids, for the little ones in the backyard. We've got to talk about the ants. We've got to look closely <laughs> at the ants. If How cute are these? Pop in here. We've got some ants trying to steal our snack on the table here. I love it. So again, just with the color scheme, I just wanted to keep it very fresh um, and summery. Uh, and again, they're neutral colors that you could even in the winter season bring the set in to a play area inside the house. Uh, but I mentioned it's exterior product. Product. And instead of just using the three colors, um, the overall three colors from the project, um, solid on the table, we've broken it up and applied it in a few different areas. And then just a little bit of added detail there, which I will show you how to do that. I have a little trick for those of you who um, out there who aren't comfortable with freehand painting the letters. Hello. This is a really simple, in a, uh, easy okay. way to, to do the freehanding letters and then the little ants coming up. So just a little verse of the ants go marching and it wraps around the table. I'd like to point out the fact that this color scheme right. would actually go very well with your adult patio furniture. It's not exactly. primary colors, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And a lot of times when we talk about outdoor decor, we talk about an accent color right. and punch colors, whether it be in cushions or the umbrellas. So look at what you already have existing in your outdoor decor, right. and you can bring those colors into the kids' area so you get a beautiful, unified exterior look it in your home. It is still very, very fun. And speaking of fun, it is what's fun. more fun than hopscotch There you go. Kid? Back in the day. us on chalk, right? There you go. Well, that's the thing. This is a slight upgrade to chalk. We're actually doing a permanent installation with paint here. Again, just taken, we've taken really simple 12 by 12 patio slabs. Which and you used, get where? Sorry. You can get at any home improvement store, okay. your local home improvement store. They, they could be circle, circular ones that nice. you can use the square ones as we've had here. Um, and you could certainly just go ahead and paint on the single number. But actually, if we come over, I can show you the layering process oh that no. I've done. Crafting. It's okay. I'll hold your hand through this. <laughs> Help. Okay. We'll give no, you the I paintbrush. Tried. No, I'm kidding. No. I was like, I can <laughs> make hold you it, jump right in there. Yet. Here we go. We'll make okay, you feel like it. the expert here. All right. So walk us through this. This is just the, the really simple concrete patio stone, right. and you can actually paint this. And a lot of people don't realize that that Benjamin Moore does think have. It would not take because it would sink in because it's so porous, you right? You think, yes. Yeah. And this is it, it acts similar to how our wood solid stains um, are, are applied to decks. Right. The same okay. idea applies with this porch and floor product. So oh, it does special still, porch and floor. Porch and floor. We're not just using any regular exterior product. Okay, that makes um, sense. No now. primings required with this. You're asking about priming with the lighting. No primings needed. You awesome. just need to apply the paint right on. Um, the one thing to keep in mind is because this is very, very porous. When you're doing a stencil such as we've, what we've done here, I started off with just a template for the circle, and then what I've done is cut it out with an X-Acto knife on mylar. Right. Put a little craft bit of store. Craft, craft store, craft, craft store, store okay. pretty much anything, inexpensive pieces from a craft store. Okay. You want to spray, put a lot of spray adhesive on the edge. So it'll be firm. So it'll stick and you get as close to a clean line as possible right on the edge. Now, again, because it's porous, there's the chance that the paint will probably run underneath some a of the little, little crevices. And that's, where, stone. Well, oh. and that's where a little artist brush comes Perfectionist. in. Perfectionist. Once it's dry, exactly. And you could even go to the extent of using your template to put back on to, get, to give you that clean edge Question. Again. Sure. Before you did the circle. Yes. Did the entire thing get painted with it this? It did. Okay. Very good question. So you can We you base can coated layer. the whole, okay. the whole thing okay. using a high density foam roller. So it was right. really simple project. And a little tip too when you're painting, because I know painting furniture, some people struggle with the edges and everything yes. and getting your hands wet. Take your can. Oh, nice Plop work. it right on and that way you can get right around the edges and just let it dry. Brilliant. All at once. Simple, simple little thing. <laughs> Make sure you've filled your paint tray before there you, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Exactly. No, I love that. Okay, so then, and then it's just a stencil upon stencil, Again, exactly. numbers. So we've cut our own circle stencil, but when it came to the number stencils, we just purchased our numbers from a craft store and eight oh, so it, that came already cut. It came already cut, so you didn't you know, even have to I'm do anything. That's great. <laughs> Again, the spray adhesive right on, applied on, and then top coat it with your paint.
top coat it with your with, paint. With your next color. Oh, with your next color, but exactly. you don't have to seal it or anything. No, 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 that's no sealing. This the... is an exterior product meant to be okay. outside. To, it's a floor product, so for jumping on it for the little kids, it's perfectly fine. Excellent. So with the furniture, um, I talked about Very the little... <laughs> the end. <laughs> I know. That's so the little. There oh. we See, now this is the easy part. If I, I mentioned if you're not comfortable with freehand painting, right on. What, uh, what I, I like. did is I printed on a, off of the computer all of my words, the lyrics to the verse, and the little and. Oh, sweet. And then to make it even easier, I, what you can do is buy graphite paper. Yes. The transfer like paper. Tra transfer tracing. Exactly. Okay. So you want to put it face down and then apply your lyrics right over top. And what I'm going to do, just to keep it secure, take some low-tack yep. tape, painter's tape, and just apply it to the edges. And then all you want to do with, with this is literally, like this is such an easy project, just outline the words. And it doesn't have to be perfect, because again, having it a little bit haphazardly plays into the kids. Yeah, it makes it look like you're planning it that way. Exactly. And the nice thing with printing it on the computer is that you can use any font. Any font, any size, you can. Any this size. Is brilliant. You this, could monogram this, this. You could put yeah. your son's name on there. And that's the Brady's big thing. Brady's name could be right across yeah. the table. And then I'll just show quickly. Once you peel it back, there we have the start, obviously. That's and then great. all you would do is take your paint color and the fill in color. Here we come with the paint. We used was gravel gray. And again, just an artist brush. And it's literally just like painting by numbers. You want to fill so in. You could do that on the wall in the nursery. Exactly. That's exactly. Brilliant. I know it's such a big trend to have the words and the lettering all around the walls and cute verses, so you can really do it yourself. And a lot of people look at this and think, oh, do I have to cut a stencil with an X-Acto knife of yeah. all the letters? So the transfer really paper that, that you got there, where, where would you get that? Was Again, that a craft store. Just, just a, a craft, store. craft store. And same thing, same idea with the ants, just some graphite paper, stencil them out. We just put them on a random pattern coming up the legs there. It's cute for boys. They're into the ants and the spiders they thing. Like are. my girls, you could do ladybugs or butterflies. Yeah. Princesses. Princess, absolutely. Yes. That would work too. Fabulous. That doesn't scare me as much. No, you're not scared. I'm not, well, I'm a little bit scared. But this will make everybody in the audience very happy and even you at home because there's a little something for everyone. Everyone in today's audience will get a Next Care backpack filled with a selection of Next Care first aid products. Perfect for summer. You want to be set up? And wait till you hear what we're drawing for. We're drawing for an Active Living Summer Prize Pack, which includes a gift card to HBC, which is lovely. Now, you at home, log on to cityline.ca to win a prize pack, courtesy of NextCare. Yes, just because you're watching from home doesn't mean you don't get to win something. We'll be right back with more CityLine right after this. Stay with us.